a hey, vlog, something a little bit different today as in the title of this video we are doing a mobility routine what's a mobility routine it is basically what I like to call kind of prehab exercises so it's kind of designed to uh, prevent any kind of injuries from occurring it's also to help you become a little bit more flexible and increases your just general well-being and quality of your day um, I don't do them often I don't do them every day uh, I do them maybe three times a week but they are actually believe it or not very good for everybody any age uh, any uh, any ability cyclist whatever you are they will uh, they will help you in some way so anyway I'm gonna get right into it I'm gonna show you what I do um, as part of my mobility routine Important to squeeze your bum on this one. Squeeze your bum and almost focus on bringing that belly button in. So you're focusing on kind of breathing in, holding it in, and squeezing your bum cheek as you do it. Next up, we've got the quad stretch. I should have just done this while I was doing that. Um, while I was doing the uh, hip flexor, but almost the same thing applies here. Keep your stomach in, or your belly button in, and then squeeze that right glute as you're doing it. If you kind of disengage the glute just for a second and then engage it, you'll actually feel a massive difference in the stretch, even without moving. Just tensing that glute is enough to sometimes make the stretch a lot better. Groin, st groin stretch just like this um, or you could do this so you come like that with your feet kind of almost touching you don't have to be and kind of sit down on that and then try and get your chest to the ground but you don't have to again you can just hang out here for uh, for about a minute another one I like to do is a hamstring stretch which is uh, which is actually kind of made a lot easier if you take the hips out of it so as you can see here a lot of people um, a lot of people do this if you can see my back it's rounded a lot of people do that in an attempt to get down there you're far better off is a lot more efficient to actually not even try to go down so you keep your left leg straight, this is the hamstring you're going to be stretching, and in fact let's do it the other way. You're going to be stretching your right hamstring, your right foot is planted on the floor, there's a bend in your left leg, and you hinge from the hips. So your legs are set up just like that, and then you hinge down, and you're, not, you're keeping your back flat and straight, and you're actually you're probably not going to get anywhere near your feet. The idea is you're taking the hips out of it, out of the equation. The minute you start to bend from the hips and the back is when you take the hamstring out of the equation. You want the hamstring in the equation because that's where you're trying to stretch. I haven't got a lot of room here, actually. You could well do this uh, with with a band, but we're just going to go free with it. Uh, you can bring your leg just like that and we'll go down. I don't want to get too close to you guys. <laughs> and this is how we'll stretch out here for a minute. And you can just move around as well if you want to find some tighter spots. That's kind of tight, like down there, as I sink down into it. And you can Google these as well if you want to Google pigeon pose. Uh, there'll be plenty of um, pictures on how to do it. That, that's kind of it. I mean, there's not a lot, I mean, it changes week in, week out, but um, depending on when I'm, where I'm feeling it and, uh, and how I'm feeling as well, I'm, 
I'll sometimes go for um, I'll sometimes go for like maybe uh, an upper body mobility routine, which is often stretching out the chest of the packs um, because they obviously get quite tight. Uh, not only from day-to-day -day activities, um, as I'm sure a lot of you experience, but also on the bike as well, because your hands are always like this, chest is always closing up. So there's a lot of shoulder. I do sometimes I do some sh shoulder mobility, some some chest work, and um, but the majority, as you'd expect, is lower body and back and things like that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of informative video, or something completely different. If you did smack that thumbs up button and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.